I am here because the hospital has cut services to the children's unit by dropping the unit from a 24 bed unit to a 12 bed unit. Um, I'm also here because they have cut nursing hours out of our elder unit. It's a 16 bed unit. Used to have three nurses on days and three on evenings. Now they have two on e days and two on evenings. Um, I think once you drop things like that and uh, once you drop your nursing staff, your, your um, quality of care is going to decrease. And these are the most vulnerable population that we serve, our children and our elders. They don't have usually their own voice. Because when unions win, everybody wins. And the fact that Trinity is making $1.3 billion in profit while it's cutting services for adolescents and elderly who struggle with mental illness is shameful. And I'm going to always stand with unions. What could the state, if you were elected to the state senate, what can the state legislature do in situations You know, the state legislature has a responsibility to make sure that government works for everybody. So we need legislation that prevents the consolidation or privatization of our hospitals. We need legislation that protects workers' rights and the right to organize. We need legislation that makes sure there's enough money coming into local communities for health care and for uh, mental health care and social services. I'm here to support the nurses and the UAW workers, counselors here at uh, Providence Behavioral Health and also the patients that they serve. A higher probability for med errors when you have a higher patient load. There's um, a higher probability for the person to not have, uh, you know, timely treatment. Um, there's a higher probability for them just not to get the individual attention as far as like personal care, feeding, um, because it's not just CNAs and support staff that administer those um, duties. I mean, it's really uh, the nurses do that too.